Excel has two different built-in functions that allow you to enter today's date and also today's date and time in a way that the entry will be dynamic. In other words, it will change as you open and close and save a file and open it on different days and at different times of the day. If you type equal today, and as you type this, it does not have to be uppercase, and you can simply put in a single left parenthesis and then press enter, and you will have today's date. So at the time of recording, it's February 3rd, 2014. The function now, equal N-O-W, left parenthesis, will give us the date and time in this style here. Now, you could certainly leave the display that way or change it if you wish by going into various formatting options. Now, these are dynamic in a number of different ways. First of all, if we sit and stare at this, nothing will happen. As we do make changes in a worksheet, however, and look back over here, depending on how much time has changed, this will be altered. In other words, it is dynamic. Now, you're not going to worry about this, of course, but if I type in a number over here and press enter, maybe that time will have changed by now. Maybe not. It now says 1047 instead of 1046. It does, by the way, answer a question that some people have when they ask, why is it with certain files I open them, I just take a look at the data, don't make any changes, and yet when I try and close it, I get a prompt that says, do you want to save your changes? If you have either of these functions in use, whether you actively make changes to those cells or not, they are changing anyway. So if we open and close a file that has either the today function or the now function in it, Excel, in effect, goes to your system clock and puts in that information, even if it's the same day or if it's within the same minute. So that answers that question, what, what's going on here? Now, in some situations, you can use these with other functions too. If you are tabulating a column for age, you want that to be changing all the time, and you can use the today function to provide today's date as a source of reference for that, because every time you use this function, you are getting the current day. And with the now function, you're actually getting the date and the time together. I'll make one quick change here. If I only wanted to display the time here, I could go to Format Cells. You can get there quickly by way of a right click and go to Format Cells and consider some of the many different ways to display this as a time if you only wanted to display this as a time. You could possibly use a combination here under Date where it shows both of those together in different kinds of ways too. So good methods of storing information from time of day. Now I haven't made a change to the content here in the last minute or so, so that 1047 is still staying the same. But once again, if I put in a number or make a change over here, let's put in a number here. Now that's 1049. Again, you don't keep an eye on it like that usually as you work with it. So both of these tools are really handy for putting in dates and times in a dynamic way that you can also use in formulas along with other functions as you work with Excel.